Well, I guess it depends on, on, on where we start, but uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, it's, not, it's not a deal killer. I would like the strongest amount of budget in that we can get. But if all we had, if all we could get, if the only thing that we could get would simply be a requirement that we cannot borrow from our future generations and deficit spend and put this country deeper and deeper in unsustainable debt. If that is the only thing the balanced budget amendment did, that alone would probably save the country, at least economically. Now, uh, what do you think of the likelihood, though, uh, as a practical matter, of that getting the, the two-thirds vote needed in the Congress? Well, in, you know, the last time it was done, I think about 15, 16 years ago in the House, we got over 300 votes, and we missed it by one vote in the Senate. Um, as long as this president is in office, I mean, of course, there's no, uh, there's no requirement for him to sign, you know, uh, our efforts to send balanced budget amendment to the states. But I, I truly believe that uh, people vastly underestimate the number of votes that we could get. I believe this will pass in the House, even now, with, with the and with the two-thirds margin, yes. I do. It's simply because there's enough, there's enough Democrats there that know that if they vote no on this, they won't be in office anymore, because this is a 75% issue with the, with the public. And uh, more and more, the general public is understanding the, the threat that out-of-control spending and deficits and debt represent to the country and the future of, uh, of their children, that they're, they're paying more attention to that than they were. So the political dynamics are quite robust. Um, it, it, in some ways, the best thing that can happen to us is if all the Democrats vote no, uh, and then we would have a Congress the next time that uh, would be strong enough to get it done. So I, I do think that we can pass this in the House. I think it takes a really true believer um, or I should say, let me put it another way, it takes a, um, an overt optimist to believe that we can pass it in the Senate under current um, numbers. But if we can get a vote on it, we can identify those who vote no, and I think some of those are just simply not going to come back. And uh, that demonstration alone, the next, the, next, uh, the next Congress could see it pass in the Senate. So I think a vigorous debate on this issue is what we need. The balanced budget amendment vote can do two things for us. It can either pass and save the country, or it can wipe out a bunch of Democrats in the, both the House and the Senate that are foolish enough to vote against it.